Welcome back to Peach State Politics. I'm Stephen Fowler, your GPB Education Capital Correspondent. Have you ever wondered how a bill actually becomes a law? Not the legislative process itself, but actually who writes the bill. A bill starts out as an idea. A big one, a small one, a money one, a legal one, one brought by a constituent or a lobbyist or the legislator themselves. Then that lawmaker has to sit down with what's known as the legislative council to figure out how to craft the bill into a way that actually changes law or code. Then it's put in what's known as the hopper. The hopper is this cool file folder in the clerk's office in the House and the Senate where all of the next day's bills and resolutions exist. You can see the author of the bill, a short summary of the bill, and it's where all the lawmakers sign on their support of the bill. After a bill goes to the hopper, the next step is to the House or Senate floor in what's known as first readers. Just like it sounds like, it's the first reading of a bill on the floor. The Speaker of the House and the Lieutenant Governor then assign the bill to a specific committee where there'll be more hearings and testimony. The next legislative day is the second reading where the clerk will read the definition of the bill and the bill number. Once the committees meet and decide on the bill, they come back and present their report to the bigger chambers saying we recommend this do pass, do not pass, be substituted with some different language or amendments or things like that. And then the bill is read again a third time when the House and Senate actually gets to vote on it. Now once it passes one of the chambers, it heads over to the other chamber to do pretty much the exact same thing. And finally, once the bill is passed by the House and the Senate, it goes to the governor's desk and the governor has to either sign it or veto it or leave it alone. Or do you have more questions about our legislative process and how things work? Shoot me a message at gpb.org PSP. I'm Stephen Fowler, your GPB Education Capital Correspondent.